how to create a call to action button in Canva. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can create your call to action button simply using the free tool or for design which is canva.com. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to go ahead and connect Canva to your account of Google, for example, or you can go ahead and sign into your account or a sign up if you don't have an account. Then we are going simply to select a design or we are going to create a design from Canva. Let's say that we are going to create a custom size design uh, like that. And then we are going to see the editor right here. Now, let's say that we want to uh, make a direct button or a the direct call to action button. Here, I'm going to click on elements and then I am going to put, for example, by now and see the uh, buttons that are available. When you click on graphics, here you will have these buttons. As you can see here, we have this button and we have that button. And also we have a lot of buttons you can go ahead and choose one from. We have this one also. You can get and see the order now button, this one. And also there's a lot of options that you can go ahead and select. For example, this is a PNG or this is a GIF button. And these are the buttons that you can see or choose from Canva. But if you want to create your customized buttons, so all you have to do is to go to elements, then simply you are going to select shapes right here or simply type shapes if you don't see them like that. And here we have the shapes. Click on the shapes, see all. And here we have the type of shapes that you can add. Let's say that I want to add this shape and that shape. I'm going to make separate links or separate shapes like that. And here we have this one. I am going to put this button, for example, like that. This is a button and this also a button. This is a more rounded uh, corners and this is um, a, a little bit filled corners. And then we are going simply to select the background colors of these shapes. We are going to put, for example, a red button. And here we are going to put a blue button, this one or that one. I don't think that this is better, I think. And then all you have to do is to add a text to these buttons. For example, we are going to add a heading. I'm going to type on that heading by now, like that. Then I am going to make the size of this heading a little bit, maybe uh, smaller like that and I'm going to duplicate this uh, same uh, uh, writing by now I am going to put it here at the uh, center of this button I can go ahead right here select the text and then we are going to change the color of it to the white and here also we can go ahead and select everything right here click on the a text color here you can go ahead and put it for example white also as you can see you can go ahead and switch the colors or make a lot of options. Now let's go ahead and add another design for this one. So I'm going simply to select all of these elements. I'm going to group them and then I'm going to copy and paste the uh, this one to the center of this uh, section. I'm going to delete that. Simply go back right here. I'm going to make the same thing for here. I'm going to make these grouped. Then I'm going to place them at the center. Now we have two particular buttons. So the first thing that you need to do, I'm going to click on share. Here we have download. And here we can go ahead and put a transparent background for this. So it will be appear only the button itself. I'm going to put this one and then I'm going to select the page, click on done, for example, and here we have the button. I will open up the folder of that and I will let it for later. Let's go to the second banner uh, button, click on share also, download. Then I'm going to select only the page that it is contained on, uh, select the transparent background option. 
click on download and here we have the second button i'm going to view the both of these buttons this is a fully transparent background and for this one it is also fully transparent now let's go ahead and add these buttons to the website that we want for example i have this canva website it is published as you can see here we have a canva uh, website simply i'm going to edit the design on it and then i'm going to upload the buttons that we have made i'm going to choose both of those buttons then i'm going simply to put the this button right here you can go ahead and adjust it as you can see here you can go ahead and redimension it like that i'm going to put it this simple here then we are going to drag and drop it let's say that i want to make this button right here and for that button i'm going to put it simply right here let's go ahead and add this make the corners a little bit uh, smaller like that here also for that and here we go then i'm going to make it right here then let's say that i want to add a link to that button in shopify it is very simple select the photo or the uh, call to action button that we have created click on more and here we have link you are going to put for example this link to a particular uh, website or URL that you have if you have a checkout uh, URL you are going to put it right here click on done and as you can see this button is clickable and it will take you to a link and also for that right here click on link paste that code or this URL click on done and it is clickable let's say that I want to add this button to a Google site I'm going to select the template on Google site and then we are going to proceed the same method. Click on image, upload the design, let's say, and I want to put only this button. I'm going right here and make this button a little bit bigger. Then we are going to insert a link for it. I'm going to put this link for it, and then I'm going to put it under this, for example. Here we have this button. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, maybe not from here and like that here we have it i'm going to make it a little bit smaller you can go ahead and put it right here or like that this is this was for uh, google sites and here we have wix simply on wix you are going to add an element click on image upload image drag and drop it uh, let's say that we are going to use the red button we'll wait for it to be uploaded and click on add to page and here we have the button i'm going to put it for example under a product let's go ahead and make it a little bit smaller maybe like that and here we have the button simply when you want to add a link to it select the button and here we have the chains click on link and then we are going to choose website address let's say that this is a checkout uh url and here we have it is linked as you can see the chains are green click on save publish and you will be good to go that was all for today's video i hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one